Hello, T fans. Welcome to Po Zi Ho. Today, let us talk about the origin of my favorite tea, Citrus Bua Tea. Since ancient times, people had attempted to taste tea with other foods, and citrus tea was one of the great inventions. It is said that the citrus pu'er tea was created by Luo Tianshi, a Jin Shi, in Liangxi village during the Dao Guang era of the Qing Dynasty. Luo Tianshi, whose original name was Wu Mei, style name Cao Shao, was born in 1805 in Liangxi village. Tang Xia Tao, Xin Hui. He was a Jin Shi in the sixth year of Dao Guang, and is known as one of the four great masters in Eastern Guangdong. In year 1847, Luo Tianshi resigned from office and returned to his hometown, bringing back a lot of pure tea. Autumn, Luo Tianshi accidentally caught a cold. To rest and recover, he read books and drank tea in his study. His wife boiled water with tangerine peel to help healing his sickness. He thought his wife made heated water for him to brew tea. Without thinking, he directly poured the tangerine peel soup into the teapot filled with pu'er. Only then did he realize that it was a tangerine peel soup for cough relief and phlegm reduction. It was a pity tipping such good soup, so he took a sip instead. All of a sudden, he felt the faint scent of aged orange peel mixed with pu'er tea penetrate his nostrils, and his cheeks were fragrant. After drinking a few cups, his throat was soothed, and he got less phlegm. The next day, Luo Tianshi asked his wife to continue boiling tangerine peel water for him to make pu'er tea. After brewing pu'er tea with it for two days, the phlegm and cough issues were relieved. What's more, his depression seemed to be washed away by tangerine peel pu'er tea. Since then, every time he was to drink pu'er tea, Luo Tianshi liked to soak it with some tangerine peel. One day, the brother next door gave him some citrus that grew by himself as a gift. He took the citrus and thought, "Pu'er tea. The longer it is kept, the more mellow and smooth it will be." And the same goes to Xinhui citrus. The citrus peel is also better for phlegm and cough relief, had it been long preserved. If they're combined, not only it is convenient to brew, but it's also easy to store. He tore off three pieces of the citrus peel and wrapped the pure tea leaves. He soon found that although the tea leaves were easy to contain, they were also easy to spill out. Luo Tianshi thought to himself, if the tea leaves were to be placed in the orange without leaking out. The peel must not be damaged, and the pulp and core will be hollowed out. So he took one citrus, cut a small piece of the top of his citrus with a knife, removed the pulp and squeezed out the fruit, then filled the empty citrus with pure tea, covered it with the freshly cut citrus peel, restored its original shape and had some burn outside. The air dried citrus peel was golden yellow, dry and brittle, exuding a faint orange fragrance. In order to prevent moisture and crush of the citrus peels, he required the custom of local people in Yunnan who like to use ropes to string up ads for self. He then found a straw, tied the citrus tea one by one, and hung them in the study. The small amount of citrus tea that made of 200 years ago was only Luo Tianshi's personal favorite. It is said that the mass production of citrus pu'er tea in modern day. Was when Jiang Minis traveled to Fujian Province. They saw local people putting tea and citrus, which was used for local custom, Zhenian, implying auspiciousness. Being inspired, the Jiang Minis invented the bulk production of the citrus pu'er tea. The high quality citrus of Xinhui District, Jiangmen City, was already famous. The Yunnan pu'er tea and Xinhui citrus made a surprisingly stunning tea combination that is now fashioned worldwide.